So the hurt and the pain is real genuine and uh, they had no time to uh, say goodbye to anything. They were told to leave, they left everything and now they have nothing, seemingly. But that's where we come in. With the Bill Graham Association, we're able to bring in hope. The hope that we have found in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the people's hearts are open to receiving it. It's just an honor and a privilege to be able to be the hands and feet of God, to go into these neighborhoods and offers the people some compassion, some hope in, in Jesus that will get them through this tragedy, uh, not get over it, but just get through it. The young man had come up to us and asked us, hey, are you gonna be here in a, a, little, in a little while? And, and my husband said, we'll be here as long as you need us. He came back and he looked for us and we had an opportunity to um, listen to this man answer many, many questions. And after he had asked uh, 25 minutes worth of questions, I said, what's gonna stop you from coming to the Lord Jesus right now? And he said, nothing. And so we said the sinner's prayer and uh, it, was, it was overwhelming and it was awesome to be able to see how God could use so many terrible events in this young man's life and bring him to the place that he was and give my husband and I this opportunity as a couple to lead this young man to Christ. We are blessed and overwhelmed to be here and just excited for every moment that is coming knowing that God's going to be using this ministry in a powerful way during this tragedy.